the 508 km long bullet train corridor between Mumbai and Ahmedabad passes 352 km in Gujarat and 156 km in Maharashtra with 12 halt stations on the way of which 8 are in Gujarat and 4 are in Maharashtra. The corridor has 21 km long underground tunnel in the city of Mumbai. The idea is to make sure that the densely populated buzzing metropolis remains unaffected. The tunnel will start from Shilphata and will go up to Bandra Kurla complex, one of the busiest commercial centers and also the terminal station for the bullet train in Mumbai. The underground Mumbai terminal station site is about 1 km long, including the retrieval shaft for tunnel boring machine, is being built at a depth of about 30 meters, equivalent to inverted 10 storied high rise. The 21 km long tunnel is from BKC to Shilphata, which consists of 7 undersea stretch at Thane Creek. 3 mega TBM, that is, tunnel boring machines are being employed for 16 km tunneling work. The remaining 5 km of the tunnel will be made by new Austrian tunneling method. The depth of tunnel will generally vary from 25 meters to 57 meters. At all the construction sites in Mumbai, work is going on at a fast pace. Three shafts, adit and a portal are being constructed for lowering tunnel boring machines and excavation is underway for the underground Mumbai bullet train station. Excavation and tunneling are major challenges, especially when the underground tunnel is going through a city as inhabited and busy as Mumbai. It demands absolute safety of surrounding structures above as well as below the ground with the least inconvenience or hindrance to people's normal activities. In ensuring absolute safety of civil structures and various pipelines etc. in the vicinity of the construction site, highly sensitive monitoring with geotechnical instruments are employed. Smart eyes and ears of engineers, geotechnical instruments play a crucial role in making sure that neither there is any risk to ongoing tunneling work nor to the structures surrounding the site. For monitoring tilt, settlement, vibration, cracks and deformation, overall safety of tunnels, shafts and surrounding structures, different types of geotechnical instruments have been installed. There are certain instrumentations which monitor various parameters related to the safety. Enclinometers are vertical holes which measure the tilting at the shaft towards center of excavation. Besides alerting that the shaft might cave in, it alerts against the adverse effect on the adjacent buildings. Strain gauges are sensitive instrument which capture deformation or elongation even if it is as small as in micrometers. They are attached with piles to monitor the deformity in shafts. At any TM portion of tunnel, pressure cells are grouted to monitor how pressure varies with the passing of time. Some instrumentations monitor the safety of tunnel and excavation work. To keep vibration under control, vibration monitors keep a close record of vibrations generated during the excavation and tunneling. Ground settlement markers warn against the settling of ground. Extensometers are installed progressively at different depths. As the ground is excavated, it monitors deformation. With standpipe piezometer, the water table is measured. A variation of standpipe piezometer is vibrating wire piezometer. Reducing water table sets of alarm, suggesting the settling of ground. Some instrumentations specifically monitor the safety of surrounding structures and buildings. Crack meters are installed across a pre-existing crack in a building. It measures if any expansion takes place in the crack. Tilt meter are fixed on the building wall. They monitor tilt in that structure on a daily basis. Geotechnical instruments are connected to their respective modules to record and observe the relevant values. With accessibility on the dashboard, the data is monitored regularly. This allows on-time identification of potential risks, enabling timely interventions to mitigate them. To keep dust and noise in control, monitors have been installed at tunneling sites. This helps in keeping the air and noise pollution to the permissible limits. This makes life easy for citizens living around or passing near the construction site. Bullet train project is indeed a marvel of engineering and is a step towards Sashakta Bharat.